Is there anything more painful than a guy who pulls away? So a guy you like is into you and you feel like you really have a connection and maybe things go well for a bit, but then he starts to become distant. Text messages become shorter and shorter and he starts coming up with all kinds of excuses. And then eventually he just disappears many times without even telling you what just happened. But you do have a choice in the middle of all of this. You can do things which push him further away and faster and make him feel like he doesn't actually want a future with you, even if he did before, or you can start to make him miss you, causing him to fall in love and then decide that you're the one and only one that he wants to be with. So let's go over some of the biggest mistakes that women make when a man pulls away and then I'll tell you what to do instead. Number one confessing your feelings to him. So this is something out of like romance movies where the, it doesn't actually work in real life. So you think if only he knew how I really feel about him, he'd decide that he wants to be with me. But in reality, this just suffocates a man. It makes him feel a lot of pressure and then it makes him feel like he needs to pull back and think things over. And it, what it ends up doing is destroying you emotionally in the process. So instead, you want him to know that you're interested in him, but not completely won over by him yet. Why? Because it's been proven over and over again that when a man is uncertain about how you feel about him, he'll feel more attracted to you. And if you do this the right way, this attraction can then turn into a deeper desire, love, and even commitment. So number two, apologizing. This happens when you convince yourself that he's pulling away because of something that you did. So you end up apologizing to make up for it. Most women do this because they're used to fixing things and talking things out with other women, but this never works with the men that you're dating. Unfortunately, it only makes his desire and interest in you plummet because he feels like you're putting him on a pedestal. Men don't want to be put on a pedestal with the women that they're dating. Instead, he wants to feel like you are a catch and that he's lucky to be with you. Apologizing will only make him feel the opposite. Don't assume that you caused him to pull away. It might have nothing to do with you. Number three, trying to buy his love. This usually looks like giving him a gift, buying him dinner, or trying to impress him in some way. Most women do this because they're trying to pull him back in when he's pulling away, but this only makes him think that you're trying to prove that you're worthy to be with him. And proving that you're worthy to be with him makes him see you as less valuable, not more, which ultimately will make him end up taking you for granted. Why? Because women who know their value don't try to prove their value to a man. Only women who don't think they're valuable do this. Instead, what you want to do is you want him to try to impress you and connect with you and pursue you. And he won't do that if you're the one that's doing it to him. Number four, faking disinterest. Women tend to do this because they either want to get back at a man or they read somewhere that they're supposed to do this in order to get a guy to like them. This usually looks like ignoring his text messages when he reaches out or, or waiting days to get back to him. This doesn't work long term because it makes him feel like you're playing games with him, which will only make him feel resentment towards you. Instead, you want him to feel like he's attracted to you because you're a beautiful, amazing woman, not because you're trying to play some game on him. If he falls in love with who you are, he'll stay in love with who you are. If he falls in love with some kind of game you're playing on him, you'll have to play that game forever in order to keep his interest. Number five, giving him some kind of ultimatum. So this usually sounds something like, my time is valuable, so if you're not going to put the effort in, maybe we shouldn't see each other. Now this doesn't work because men don't want to be forced into anything. Instead, he wants to feel like pursuing you, loving you, and committing to you is something that he wants deep inside his heart. You want him to miss you, regret pulling away, and feel like he wants to come back and never leave again. 
I have a process for doing this and it's something that I call the forever woman formula because it makes him fall in love and want to be with you forever. There's actually a four word text message that you can send him that gets his attention and makes him realize that he shouldn't have pulled away in the first place. Women in our community who have used this text message have gotten some amazing results where men have even apologized, asked for their forgiveness and taken them out to dinner to make up for pulling away. If you'd like to know what that text message is, click the button on the right hand side of this screen to watch a video about it right now.